So the three member sales crew at Outlaw TV and Appliance sold 84 TVs in January. Gene sold half as many TVs as Rob. Jed sold twice as many TVs as Ra. How many TVs did Gene sell? So the first thing we want to do is we want to identify our question. So what's the question? How many TVs did Gene sell? Okay. Then we're going to two, we're going to state our path. So the first thing we know is the total TV sold were 84. And Gene double. sold double, right? So for J, we're gonna, and we don't know how many Rob sold, so we're gonna call it X. So it's gonna be 2X, because Gene sold twice as many as however many he sold. Okay? And Jed, uh, oh, sorry, Gene sold half as many. Let's back that up. So Jean, she sold half as many. So how will we represent half as many? We don't know though. So we can't call it a number yet, right? One half. Good, good. So one half X, because we don't know how many Rob sold. And then Jed, he sold twice as many as Rob, so then that would be 2x. Make sense? So it says Gene sold half as many, so that's one half x. Jed sold twice as many, that's 2x. And then Rob, we don't know how many he sold, so we'll just call it x. So Tara, how do you think we would set all that up into an equation? No, <laughs> all right, so we have three people and how much did they sell all together? 84. 84, so we can put equal 84, right? We can put Rob, the number of TVs he sold, plus Jed, the number of TVs he sold, plus Jean, the number of TVs she sold, equal 84, right? Because if the total TVs that they sold were 84, all you have to do is add these up. Now, if I told you that Rob sold 10, then it'd be easy. Because you would say 10 plus 20 plus 5, right? But we don't know how many Rob sold. That's the problem. So that's why we need this equation. So now we have x plus 2x plus 1 half x equals 84x. So you add all those together x plus 2x is 3x plus a half x is three and a half x okay now what do we do <laughs> Close. What's the opposite of multiplication? Divide. Divide. Right? So, so when we see uh, the, the fraction, it throws us off. It makes us think, oh, is there something different? But no, it's the same thing. We just divide each side by three and a half. Three and a half divided by three and a half cancels out. That's x, 84, eighty-four divided by 3 
and a half equals 24. Of course, I used my calculator for that one. So our answer is 24, right? Wrong. Because remember, the question was how many TVs did Gene sell? X equals Rob. And so Gene sold half as many as Rob. So the answer then would be half of 24 would be 12. You see how that works? So on the GD test, this is one of the things we have to be aware of. So after we've done all of this work, set up this equation, solve the equation, we still have to make sure that we're answering the question. So the answer that we get is, is correct, but it doesn't answer their exact question. This X equals 24, that just tells us how many Rob sold. But the question is not how many Rob sold. The question is how many did Gene sell? And so we know from here, Gene is half of Rob, right? And so half of 24 is 12. And so that's why the answer is Gene sold 12 TVs. <laughs> See, this is one of the reasons people miss questions because they do the math right, but they don't answer the right question. And sometimes your answer won't be the direct answer to the question. You might have to take an extra step. That's why it's so important to identify your question and then state your path so that you make sure after you've done all of this and your focus is no longer up here, you can always go back at the end and say, okay, what was the question? Oh, it was about Gene. Oh, okay, well, this tells us X, that's Rob. So Gene is one half of Rob, okay, and half of 24 is 12, so the answer is 12.